So now we will solve a problem of uh, images. So let f be from R to R and f be given by f of x is equal to x square. And we are going to check two properties of the function. So the first property that we are going to check is, is f of a union b equal to f of a union f of b? That is the first question. And the second question is, is f of a intersection b equal to f of a intersection f of b okay so these two properties we are going to check so let us uh, solve the problem now it is very easy so the for the first part what we will do is we will take two a two sets a and b and we will try to verify this okay we are just trying to verify the results if the result comes true later on we will prove the result okay so let me take for simplicity, let me take a equal to the set one comma two. And let me take the set B to be the interval minus two comma minus one. OK, and we will check the following two results for these two sets A and B and, ch and check whether they are correct or not. OK, so if I draw the function now, the function is. Uh, function x square so for one the image is one one square is one and for the point x equal to two the image is four so let me write y axis one two three four and on the x axis i have minus one here and i have uh, minus two here okay so here the set A that I'm having, the set A is uh, one to two. So this is I'm shading the set A. And the set B is minus two to minus one. It is not interval minus one to minus two. Remember smaller number should be on the left hand side. And this is the set B. OK, and what is f of a? So if I, if I want to calculate f of a, I have to go to the graph. The complete interval will go on the graph. And then I will project it on the y axis. So here I will get the image of the set a under this function. So this part that I'm now going to shade on the y axis. This part. Is nothing but f of a. This part is f of a. This is f. What is f? f of x is equal to x square. And then I have to look at b and I have to find the image of b also. So I will like do the same thing. Now my graph is slightly tilted here, but I hope you know that minus one goes to one. And minus two goes to four. OK, so the image of minus two comma minus one, the interval minus two comma minus one is also on the y axis, which I'm shading here. On the left hand side of the on this interval minus uh, interval one to four. So this is f of b. This is f of b. Okay. Now let us try to answer the questions that are uh, asked us asked to us. So the first part is I have to check f of a union b is equal to is it equal to f of a union f of b okay we have we are taking this a and b 
for an example. So what is f of a in the problem? As you can see in the question, f of a is 1 to 4, interval 1 to 4. And what is f of b? f of b is also 1 to 4. What is a union b? First we will find what is a union b. What is the union of the set 1 to 2 union minus 2 to minus 1? These two sets are disjoint. So, right. So, the union will be as it is. I cannot simplify this union now. So, A and B combined together will form A union B. What is image of A union B? What is image of A union B? What is F of A union B? A union B is 1, 2 and minus 2, minus 1. If you go in the picture and if I see what is the image of uh, 1, 2 and minus 2, minus 1 and the combined image, okay? The combined image is again 1 to 4 because they have a common image, right? So, so F of A union B will be again how much? Will be again 1, 4. So the left hand side, if I write down the left hand side and the right hand side, so what is the left hand side and what is the right hand side? The left hand side is f of a union b. Okay, we want to check whether this is correct or not. And what is the right hand side? The right hand side is f of a union f of b. Okay, are they equal? So what is the answer of the left hand side? The answer of the left hand side is 1 comma 4. So this is 1 comma 4. What is on the right hand side? What is f of a? f of a is 1 4 union what is f of b f of b is also 1 4 so what is 1 4 union 1 4 what is the set union with itself we know that the set union with itself is the set itself okay that set is not 1 4 sorry that set i'm calling c c union c who is c c is the interval 1 comma 4 what is c union c c union c is c means this answer is also how much this answer is 1 4 so i see that the left hand side and the right hand side both are equal so for this example f of a union b is equal to f of a union f of b so for the above a and b for the above a and b what are a what is a and what is b a is 1 2 and what is b b is minus 2 minus 1 we have the result that f of a union b is equal to f of a union f of b is true this result is true for this particular a and b okay so if i want to now say that this is always true then you have to give a mathematical proof for this okay in the next lecture we will prove that this statement is always true you take any function then f of a union b is equal to f of a union f of b so let me write it as a result here so result if f is a function from set s to set r set s is some set and r is also some set now this is not necessarily the function has to be from real numbers to real numbers this this statement that i'm writing is true for any function no matter what the domain is no matter what the codomain is then and a and b are subsets of s then f of a union b is always equal to f of a union f of b okay this result holds for any function f okay in the above example what was our s and what was our set r in the above example our function the the, the function was from what the function was from real numbers to real numbers so the set s was real numbers and the set r was also real numbers what was our a the a that we had chosen was 1 comma 2 and the b that we had chosen was 
minus 2 minus 1 okay and in as uh, subsets of which are the subsets of real numbers so 1 comma 2 interval close interval and minus 2 comma minus 1 both are subsets of, of what both are subsets of real numbers and therefore we have got that f of a union b is equal to f of a union f of b this statement will be true for all functions remember this now we will check the second part what is the second part the second part says that is f of a intersection b equal to f of a intersection f of b this is what we are supposed to check so is f of a intersection b equal to f of a intersection f of b now what is f of uh, now what is our a and b let me write what is a a is 1 2 and b is uh, minus 2 minus 1 okay so what is uh, so if i draw these sets on the real line on the real axis i know that this is zero the first set is a is here okay which is 1 comma 2 and the set b is here which is minus 2 minus 1 this is set b and you see that these two sets a and b are disjoint they have nothing common in them so what is a intersection b if the two sets are disjoint then what is the common thing the common thing is empty An empty set is the intersection of the two sets what is f of a intersection b f of a intersection b means i will substitute a intersection b to be empty so it is f of empty what is image of an empty set image of an empty set will be obviously it will be obviously empty so the left hand side is empty what is lhs lhs is f of a intersection b which is nothing but f of empty and which is phi what about the right hand side the rhs is f of a intersection f of b what is f of a now f of a we have calculated in the first part the image of a with one two interval was the interval one four intersection what is f of b again in the above part we have seen that image of the interval minus 2 minus 1 was equal to how much minus 2 minus 1 was again 1 comma 4 a and b are fixed okay i'm not changing a and b so this interval we have called c intersection c and what is the intersection of set with itself the intersection of set with itself is the set itself so we will get c intersection c c and this is equal to how much this is again equal to 1 comma 4 so you now see that the left hand side is empty and the right hand side is non-empty because the right hand side contains all the real numbers between 1 to 4 this set is containing infinitely many numbers or there are infinite numbers between 1 to 4 right so this set is non-empty the right hand side set is non-empty the left hand side set is empty so we conclude that left hand side is actually not equal to the right hand side means who is the left hand side means f of a intersection b in this problem is not equal to f of a intersection f of b okay in general again as the above result we will in the upcoming lectures we will prove this result that if f is a function from set s to r s and r are any sets then and sorry and a and b are subsets of a and b are subsets of which set a and b are subsets of the domain okay a and b are subsets of who is the domain of the function the domain of the function is s a and b must be subsets of domain then f of a intersection b is not equal to but it is subset it is always a subset of f of a 
intersection f of b this result we will prove in the upcoming lectures that this this the left hand side need not be always equal to the right hand side but but surely you can say one thing that the left hand side is always a subset of the right hand side okay